The Frigate Freejet is a Russian program set to be deployed in the middle of the market segment, carrying 300 passengers. The initial concept began in 1991 as TU-304, with the Tupolev Design Bureau's Valentin Klimov taking charge. At the time, the plane would carry 500 passengers. However, in 2004, Valentin's son, Alexander, took the reins of the project with a new design bureau working as a spin-off company of Tupolev. First known as the Frigate Ecojet, the focus was initially surrounding a twin jet. However, the project's leaders formally switched concentration to the Freejet Quadjet. In 2017, Alexander Klimov explained that despite industry patterns, four jets match the goals of the project, ultimately believing that optimization is more essential than engine number. The team claims that this quadjet version will have the same engine options as the new generation of narrow-body jets. These choices include the PD-14, PW-1400G and CFM Leap-1. The program leaders also state that four engines unload the wing and allow for a lighter primary structure. These engines can be mounted under the wing on long pylons, which allows for a one-piece slat and directs the fan slipstream away from the flaps, which reduces noise. Subsequently, program staff got in touch with the United Engine Corporation to power the projected plane with a set of PD-14s. This equipment was also being produced for the Irkut MC-21, Russia's other exciting project. According to a 2017 press release seen by Simple Flying, Klimov stated that with the implementation of modern engines available on the market, the excess thrust resulting from four engines will allow the implementation of the concept of a so-called more electric aircraft. There are also opportunities to apply advanced design solutions aimed at reducing harmful emissions and noise levels. Klimov said the following, according to Russian Aviation Insider. Our free jet will be 15 decibels quieter than the future ICAO Chapter 14 requirements. Thanks to a higher thrust-to-weight ratio, the required field length will not exceed 2,500 meters, so the aircraft could be operated from city airports. Besides, we'll implement the electric aircraft technology, meaning electro-hydrostatic and electromechanical actuators, an electric taxi system, electric air conditioning and anti-icing. This will eliminate the need for an air bleed system and will make the engines more efficient. According to our estimates, the electric aircraft concept can reduce fuel burn by 8% to 12%, cut the takeoff weight by 6% to 10%, and lower the direct operating costs by between 5% and 10%. As a result, we'll get an aircraft with a seating capacity of between 250 and 300 passengers and a range of 4,500 kilometers. Klimov added that there would also be a long-range version capable of flying up to 8,000 kilometers. All of this can be achieved in the framework of one baseline design, achieving significant cost reductions. Altogether, the project seems to be going against the grain of engine numbers within commercial aviation. Nonetheless, those working on the Freejet are looking to use this engine configuration to help it reach its ambitious goals. What are your thoughts about the Frigate Freejet? Are you excited about the project? Let us know what you think of the aircraft in the comment section. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.